Water on chart here. This is our first update on Tropical Storm Nadine. Currently with winds of 45 miles per hour. And, and expected to make landfall in Belize in a couple hours from now. Here's how it looks on satellite. A lot of convection in the center. But only with winds of 45 miles per hour. Here's the NHT forecast as of immediate advisory 3A. And by 1 p.m. today, it's expected to make landfall. Then go into Guatemala, Mexico. And then after, it's expected to cross into the Eastern Pacific. Here's the key messages. Localized areas of flash flooding are possible along the track of Nadine, across southern Mexico, Guatemala, and northern Belize. Tropical storm conditions are expected along portions of the coast of, the, of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula with a tropical storm warning in effect. Here's the probability of tropical storm force winds. There is basically a 50 to 100 percent chance for it's it Nadine is expected to make landfall. Here's the rainfall potential 12 plus inches locally expected in Veracruz that is 300 millimeters and another 8 to 12 inches that is 300 millimeters expected in Belize. Here's the rainfall forecast. No, not rainfall. Wind, the model forecast. I'm sorry I said that. Can see it. You can't really see Nadine. Now you can. Crossing into the eastern Pacific and possibly strengthening into a category one or two hurricane. Here's the GFS. You can see Nadine crosses. Let's see if the GFS makes this like a Cat 4. Because this is what the GFS does with these hurricanes. Okay, so around Monday you can start seeing it to form near Mexico. Forming a little bit, but the GFS doesn't expect us to strengthen much. That is all we have for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Weather Uncharted out.